Hey guys, what's up? Flubberlicky here, and this is the server tour. So basically, right here is my first house I built. Not very great. And inside, down here, we have a mine shaft where I dug to the center of the earth and found absolutely nothing as usual. In here is just an empty room. Out here is a tree I planted in my courtyard. Just gonna get this out of the way. And that's a little water feature I put together to make it look a bit more homely. So we go back inside, and we come through this door here on the left. This will take us upstairs and into pointless empty rooms that I've made again. So in here, yeah, big window, big whoop, nothing really. That's really about it. And a, a bit of a balcony out here just so we can view over there. That's a friend of mine, Corey's house. Over there is a friend of mine, Q Builder's house. And that's a little lake in the center of town. Down here is a different part of the map. This is Armiel's house. She's actually online now. She's right over there. You can see her. And she's made a few pools, a farm. And a house is actually made out of bricks, a proper building material, unlike my lazy ass house. And if we go in here and go downstairs, we'll see she's actually made an underwater room, which is pretty cool. Note she stole it off me from one of my houses I built before. Just saying. And back up we go. Close that door for her. And if we walk through this tunnel, which I made myself, which took frickin' forever, and I don't really know if it's worth it because there are, I can just use warp points. Now that's another bridge I built, and this goes to my house that I'm very proud of. I built this whole house by myself. It took probably one to two hours, or oh, maybe a bit more, I'm not really sure. So I've made this little balcony here. I'm, I quite like the roof on it, actually. And yeah, so I'm just going to swim around it here for you. Um, and if you haven't noticed already, this is post-commentary because I had to take a lot of different scenes because this world is massive and I had to warp all over the place and whatnot. So yeah, and you can see my underwater room down there, actually. Um, so, yeah, over here is the entrance, and that's actually the entrance to a massive cave that I found there. Which is good, because I actually found something for once. This cave is pretty damn well. I really love this cave, it's massive, and it goes on forever, literally. Because if we follow this sign here, where it says down here, it'll take us into an even more awesome place. And because there's no health damage yet, I didn't die on that fall. And then if we fall down here again, uh, there's some redstone there, which I want to find in single player, not multiplayer. We have this amazing, massively bowl kind of shaped room, which I absolutely love. I really want to do something down here. It'd be really cool. And, oh god, <laughs> I, I didn't realize it fell into lava at that point. <laughs> That's really quite embarrassing. Uh, yeah, so I'll probably just put myself out here, I reckon. Yes, I did. Smart of me. So, yeah, this is a really awesome cave underneath my house. Um, this is an, Corey's house, another di a different house. And he's made like a little waterfall going out there. And this house is pretty cool too, he stole some of my ideas. And we're back at my house now for some reason. Anyways, this is inside of my house, I created a little storage area there. And that's a little, another courtyard kind of area with a garden, plant a tree, and whatnot. That's a kind of like, I don't know, stone bridge that goes out to a little jetty I've made in case I want to go exploring in the world. And back this way, I think we're going inside now. Yes, we are. On our right is a bridge. Oh, lag. Lag. We in? No, still lagging. Really should have edited this first, but I didn't, because I'm a bit lazy. Not going to lie. Okay, we're inside. Here's a bridge made out of... Well, not made out of glass. It's got glass in it. If you look down, look down. There is water flowing underneath it. We walk through into another room, and we can see out into the ocean area, which is pretty cool. And here goes up to a balcony that I can look out. And yeah, I, I one thing I hope about this game is I really hope that they have the ability to have houses that are actually useful. Because at the moment, houses right now are just built for fun and look cool. But I really want to be able to do something here. Besides crafting, storing, and making food. You should be able to do something else. I don't know, maybe some minigames would be quite cool. But yes, that is the end of the server tour. I'm Flubberlicky, and thank you for watching.